There we go. Let's make it tight so that they can't shake it off. And then, no, yeah, we're, we're good. Well, we can still use this. It's a, uh, we have enough. Yeah, sure. And I'll just put another one. Classes like this that are like, you get to go outside, you're actually kind of doing research and coming up with conclusions rather than just sitting in a classroom and being lectured and told. Like, instead of telling us, like, hey, climate change is affecting the trees, and we write it down in our notebooks, we come out here, study the trees, collect data, and then at the end of the year, we write a report and tell him climate change is affecting the trees, and here's how. And I think that's, like, much more memorable and impactful. I remember tapping trees the first time I had like syrup out of, you know. Because you're tapping trees, there's sort of an end goal. So I think that has kind of engaged students in a way that's different from usual indoor classrooms. It's not very often that you get to take a class at the university where you actually engage with like the land here. Our ancestors, like they always found ways to adapt and to change with the times. And so we're continuing that tradition. I've had students that have never done the sciences or even never thought about taking science courses because they felt, oh, this is hard. Almost every year I can guarantee there's always like a couple students that have been told they were not smart enough. So this class shows that you can do it. Is a